Ah, winter has arrived, and it's very cold out here. Hopefully, though, this winter doesn't involve ice zombies. Welcome to Drax Exploring, a special Christmas episode, or holiday, or whatever you may or may not celebrate. A wintry episode, at the very least. Now, because it's so cold out here, I think I need to wrap up a little bit warmer than this. Well, not that a hat is going to do much, but it's a start. Anyway, today we're exploring Astoria, and as you can tell, it's quite a wintry themed place. Fitting for this month and the return of Drax Exploring. Hopefully return anyway, if I stop being lazy. Uh, anyway, um... Is that...? No, okay, they are wearing stuff. I thought that was a naked person as soon as I left the, the safety bridge. Some some nice hairy creatures relax in here, because they have the benefit of being hairy. So they don't have to suffer the cold. Um, this polar bear seems to be having a bit of trouble. Or maybe he's just waiting for something. Or she. Probably a... Oh, I don't know. Do polar bears get in heat? Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I would take a seat, but I don't particularly want a cold ass. So let's not. Ah, what a lovely decorated couple of trees. Oh, excuse me. This is somewhere I wouldn't mind hanging out more often. Not that there's probably much to do. Seems like it's more of a an atmospheric, just nice place to look at than a hangout or anything. But I've just started, so who knows? Maybe there's a club over there somewhere. We'll soon find out. Well, we've certainly got a little hut here at least. What have we got going on in here? Someone left something something cooking. Ah yes, it's grey soup. A lot of people have gathered around out here apparently better leave before they think I work here. A little bit tall for that room anyway. What's that? A rainbow orb. Oh. There is life. I chose a place that wasn't too packed with people, because there are quite a few Christmassy themed areas that I could have explored right now. But this was one of the less populated ones. As you might expect, Areas like this are quite popular. People always like to explore and hang out at uh, themed areas and stuff that are advertised on the, the front page of the travel guide. That is quite possibly the most well animated horse, never mind it's walking through a well. Doesn't change the fact that it's well animated. Sorry. I mean, not animated. It's a real horse. Ah, welcome to the lag tree. Still very nice, though. Just a nice... I don't really know much of what to say. Just a nice relaxing, wintry themed place. That's like a nice, comfortable place to rest over here. Let's have a sit down on a seat that isn't covered in snow. Ah, that's more like it. Nice and warm by a fire. Although the snow is coming through the roof a little bit. So I think they need to seal up a few cracks. Right, the journey continues. What's going on over here? Was that there before? Probably. I guess it's just the fire over here. Yeah, I suppose so. What about these rocks? Let's do a bit of climbing. Oh. Oh, never mind. Don't come up here. You'll see the gaps in the universe. Uh, snow really does mess with one's perception of time a bit. It causes everything to slow down. 
although you might notice it's a bit better than it has been in the past. Some improvements may have occurred in recent times. Nice little snow family. It's a shame they're all going to die after winter, but you know, that's just the fate of some creatures. They live only for one season. Another nice little place to relax. That seat looks a bit small for me though. Shall we travel in style and show off a bit? Okay, one of the benefits of having claws. I can travel in style when it comes to ice. And on snow. Don't question it. It's magic. Let's just ignore the wildlife. Don't want to get all up in their business. Just a wall here. But what's this? Skate up the stairs. Don't worry about it. It's a nice little area. What's going on here? Well, it looks like it's somewhere that's probably made for dancing. This. It's a pile of cash. And yeah, no one's looking. I think I'll just uh, later. So there's no evidence on the video either. Another horse. Just hanging out. Yeah, hi. How you doing? Not too cold. I hope. Since you've been left here alone. Fly. Live at Astoria, Saturday, December 19th, 11am SLT. So if you want to come along to this, there might still be time. Because you'll probably be seeing this before that date. This water is still flowing, so you probably don't want to go in it. Otherwise your feet will freeze. Mine won't, because, you know, dragon magic and all that. Back down we go. Don't worry about me, you've got a whole tree on your head. Somebody come and put lights on your horns, or are you just magical? And that's how they grow. No, there are lights on them. Well, there's certainly a lot of animals around here. Hello. People having fun. Looks like they've got a better style than me. My style is a bit too flaily. With my arms very straight. But it's the only way that I know. Yeah. As I was saying, a lot of wildlife around here. There's some nice warm chairs. Now this is somewhere I wouldn't mind sitting down. The shelter is nice, but here, with blankets... Although these blankets are clearly not made for someone of my size. My legs are going through it, and most of the other positions I can sit in, the same happens. But anyway, just a marshmallow on a stick, maybe a sausage as well, and it would be perfect. Although I suppose that's more of a winter thing. I mean, a, a summer thing. Marshmallows and hot dogs. What's that? It's a bear. Stuck in the snow. Oh. Let's not interrupt this person. Or this person. Checking out the horses. Hopefully nobody's fallen into the well. Oh, the horse is at it again. No, it's actually avoiding it this time. That's okay then. Looks like Santa's been here, but left his vehicle. What's this? This isn't quite what I would expect. It's like something from a carnival. Quite nice though, I suppose. Wouldn't want to ride that if it was going a bit faster though. The air would be very cold. It already is, but imagine it blowing past your face at increased speeds. A llama? I don't know. Aren't llamas supposed to be bigger? Aren't you a little short for a llama? Some deer? Trying to get the food. 
but it's in a cage. This actually actually goes a bit further than I thought for some reason. There's a lot of people over here. I don't think these ones are real. Something very suspicious about the way they're moving. Imposters. What's this? Look both ways before crossing the road. Little cave. It's making spooky noises. It's very windy in here apparently. It's quite nice though. If it wasn't for that that spooky whistling. Is that over there? A lighthouse. Unfortunately, I believe that's oh, Aurora Borealis. Unfortunately, I believe that's out of the area, but I don't feel like trying to cross that water anyway. That's a nice little lighthouse. I hope I didn't say outhouse a minute ago. A nice little chair to sit down in. And watch the lighthouse. And another one. And it does look like we've just about reached the end of this area. Of course there is still a bit more to look at. But I believe this is as far as I can go in this direction, more or less. Is this is this still the same bit? It is. It's a nice little area. over here. Yeah. Oh, there. that one looks more like Santa's. Abandoned. Maybe he's not doing his job this year. But other than that, looks like it. Oh, no. I thought that was something flying off into the sky, but no, it's just lights hanging down. But yeah, a nice area. Let's go and have a look at one of these bridges. I think we're pretty much done. There is another area over there, but it seems to be someone's house from what I saw as I was descending into this area. Nice little bridge. I guess in warmer times these would be rivers. That would be a lot of water. A very islandy place when it's not frozen over. I wonder how the animals get around with all this water everywhere. Someone's here now. There's a lot of people looking around. Coming and going. Let's see. I'll climb up onto this mountain and try and get a look for you. I don't think it's somewhere I can explore. We'll have a peek. Okay, up we go. Big forest over there. I wish I could explore it. I could try. Let's see if I can make it. Ah, yes, I can. Yeah, looks like it's a mansion of some sort. I think I'll wear some more appropriate gear for sneaking. There. I learned from a certain old computer game that people liked back in the day. Okay, time to head down and have a look around. Hopefully I can sneak in. Hard to tell if there's anyone around from here. I didn't bring my radar or whatever I may have called it in the past, where I can see nearby life forms. What's this? I thought there was some kind of weird orb, but no, it's a rock. More gaps in reality over there. A little island over there, whoa! With some kind of palace in the distance. Um. 
Now that's a bit more enticing than this. Unfortunately though, it's too far away. I do just kind of want a quick peek though with my far sight. Look at that. What's in there, I wonder? Not sure. I have some kind of club by the look of it. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. What's over here? Oh! Some fake land! Ah! It's a trap to make someone land in the water and freeze! Okay, I'm fine though. Here we are. Time to sneak. Nice little outside hangout area here. Frozen pond. Okay, this might be a bit too spooky for me. What was that? Made me jump. This place appears to be haunted. I'm going to avoid the path. That seems to be where it's going on. Nice little fountain. Some very bright plants. the main place. Yeah, it's whenever I walk on the path. It's like something tries to capture me. I'm too clever. Anyway, what's that? Is this your doing, Mr. Snowman? I guess it's a snow angel. I guess it was done by a real angel though, and it left behind some of its radiance. It's quite magical. Strange seat. Pretty nice looking. Right, let's go inside. I'm probably not supposed to, but I can try. It appears to be some kind of high tech facility. Municipal authorities. Police impersonators. Hmm. Lots of worrying things to look out for here. Least of all the snow spirits. Hello? Snow spirits are closing the doors behind me now as well. Why is there a randomly a train track? Oh, I guess it's a, a dead end. Although it's on the road, so... That's a bit of a weird train track, that is. Maybe. As far as I can tell, anyway. A nice cafe. With food in it. And no one around to stop me from taking it. They all look quite nice as well. Cakes. Coffee and espresso. is. Got some nice trees outside it at least. Whatever it is. I guess this is a train station or bus stop. Some uh, rather empty buildings. Some strange sound coming from in there, like running machinery. Can I get in here? Yes I can. That's very noisy. There's nothing in there though. So whatever that is. Back entrance. What exit? Not much out here. Except a floating light. What's this over here? Some boxes washed up on shore? No, it's just some rocks. I was hoping it was some containers washed up with some kind of treasure inside. Oh, managed to sneak back in. Right, let's not take the front door. 
receive in appears to be some kind of house. Not sure what that ticking is. It's coming from over here. Maybe it's upstairs. I'm probably not supposed to be here, but nobody's home. Done feeling daring today. Take a quick look around. Although they have got a potentially magical star on the ground front of a shrine. Let's not go too near that. Some games. Motorbikes. Some animals. Hopefully they can't speak so that they don't tell the owners of this place who's been here. But I will make it quick. Don't mind the, the lag. That's just something this world does, no matter how good your eyes are. Is it this? I'm not sure. I guess it might be that. There's a bicycle embedded in the ground. Perhaps I can ride it. Indeed I can, but it's probably not such a good idea. It appears to be quite stuck. I've never encountered a bicycle quite like this. Uh, uh. Okay, I don't think I want to mess with this anymore. Oh! It's trying to shove me in the closet! Oh! Oh, oh there we go. Now it works. Somewhat. Never mind. That bicycle is a lost cause. The owners of this place will have to deal with it themselves. Put some art on the wall. Yeah. Washroom here, or bathroom. Another bicycle, which is a, also a giant clock. They certainly like their two-wheeled vehicles around here. Being very suspicious of any door sounds, but I think that one was one that I used. So that's fine. What's going on up here? A little roof garden with a kitchen, bar, barbecue area of some sort. Basket. It's a very spiky fire. On a computer. A little office area up here. Yeah, this would be quite a nice place. A view of the ocean. Plenty of books as well. Yeah. A place that seems like it would be quite nice to live. Although, personally, I'd probably have less bicycles and motorbike-themed things. Right. Well, I think it's time for me to get out of here. So let's make our exit from the highest point on the roof. I think Garrett would be proud. So it's time for me to leave. Thanks for watching this episode of Drax Exploring. It's been quite an interesting place, with a nice wintry theme to suit the season. I hope you enjoyed, and see you again next time. And happy holidays to you all!